hey girl hey hope you all are having a great day and if you're not listen don't complain because it could be worse it could be better but it could be worse today is uh, august 14th but the clips that i'm going to post is from friday the 13th which was yesterday and the fuckery of Friday the 13th. I tell you, I feel like I'm going to have a mini PTSD about Friday the 13th from here on out. A few years ago, I want to say in 2017, Friday the 13th, my son totaled my only vehicle that was a nice car, not some bullshit, not a struggle hoopty. It was a nice car. It was a great car. There was nothing wrong with it. And I broke up with trash because my son had stolen my car in the middle of the night and, and totaled it. And yesterday, Friday the 13th, August, Friday the 13th, 2021, this is 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 what i was woken up to again <laughs> several years ago and i think it was 2017 friday the 13th of i think it was july if i'm not mistaken i woke up in the wee hours of the morning with the with rpd banging down my door about a hit and run and i was asleep because i did not even know my car was being driven because i gave no permission for my car to be driven and today or yesterday, I woke up <laughs> with RPD busting at my door due to the nonsense of my son. Again, he's now 19 years old. And this is a, um, a search warrant. This investigation concerns allegations of narcotics being stored, abused, and or sold from the said address within the past 72 hours a confidential and reliable informant has purchased marijuana from my child who resides at my address has been observed exiting my address providing an amount of marijuana in exchange for u.s currency based on my training and experience i know that the evidence to be seized as described in this application is associated and used by persons selling and or possessing drugs in violation of the North Carolina Controlled Substances Act. Probable cause affidavit. I, Officer B.R. Hall, have been a law enforcement officer with the Raleigh PD for nine years and eight months, I am currently assigned to the FLEX unit under the Field Operations Division. I have received training in drug enforcement through both the Raleigh PD Academy and regularly scheduled in-service training sessions. I have additional training including gang investigations, hotel motel interrogation, and social media investigations. My training has made me familiar with persons associated with drug violations, their practices, and with the appearance, a packaging, manufacturing, sales, and distribution of illegal controlled substances. I am familiar with violations in the activity and evidence associated with drugs, such as drug dealer vehicles, uh, drug dealers using vehicles for transportation of their drugs, street drug transactions, and drug houses. I have participated in hundreds of of I have participated in hundreds of investigations that have led to the arrest and conviction of individuals for violations in the North Carolina Controlled Substance Act, yada, yada, yada. Um, it says, within the past 72 hours, a controlled buy of marijuana was conducted by officers with the Raleigh PD Flex Unit by utilizing a confidential and reliable informant to purchase marijuana from my child so and and and, and they've uh an in inventory of item c's pursuant to search the stuff that they took out of here um everything was uh belonging to my child a personal item i, ha I had a, a personal uh concealed carry uh, i had a 40 caliber uh pistol that was taken in the seas that was mine they took it out of my um 
out of my um um shoot um what do you call this thing um safe they took that out of my personal safe they went through everything they just went through everything and um I'm posting this to say like I'm mad, I'm sad, I'm frustrated, I'm irritated at the situation just because I really have done all that I know to do to um, force the positive behaviors, um, sound decisions within my child. I only have one child. I've only been pregnant one time. No abortions, no miscarriages. And for me personally, um, I've, I've, I've overcome a lot. The traje uh, trajectory of my life going forward is very, very positive. There's a very, very positive outlook from being born to a single parent and being raised by a single parent with very limited resources and you know government assistance and no male in the household no positive reinforcements of anything to live in, in government project development housing to me myself being a single teenage baby mom and um, having no help and again with the no positive male influence and um, just trying to find my way at the age of 17. I was uh, pregnant at 16. I'm at 17 <laughs> and I'm confused. <sighs> I had a baby in high school <sighs> and I worked and I went to school <laughs> and I was a mom. <laughs> And I do the best I can. I just, I feel tapped out. <sighs> I feel conflicted. <sighs> My son was arrested last month. <sighs> God, was at my door again. He, my son was sitting in the police car. And, you know, I don't understand deadbeat dads. Just because my son was talking to me from a police car. <laughs> from my door and he says mom please I need your help as angry as I was as much as I don't want to help as much money as he stole from me as much as my property he's damaged I didn't want to help but I don't know how not to help he says mom please I need your help when he called me from the from the from the jail, from the prison, from the jail, downtown, I felt compelled to help. Uh, especially when I have the means to do so. So, uh, when guys are uh, crying 
and complaining about the menial child support and somebody's trying to get them for their money. <sighs> I wish I could pay child support and just be done. I, I wish I could have stress-free days and nights. I, I wish I didn't have to deal with the bullshit day in and day out. Like... Uh, money in a check and, and popping up and buying shoes every so often. I never even had that. I never had any help. I never had any child support. But if that's all you have to do, what is the problem? What is the problem? You don't want to be a dad, but you don't want to wrap up. You don't want any responsibilities. You think somebody's supposed to do everything by themselves. Like... <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. You don't want to be a father. <sighs> don't 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 spread your fertilizer if you don't want to be a dad. Okay, grow the fuck up. You don't want to be a father. You don't have to be a father. It's not on the woman to make sure that you don't get someone pregnant. It's not on somebody to make sure that they get an abortion. It is on you. It is definitely on you. You don't want to be a dad. Don't be a dad. That That's that's just it. You scared about somebody's going to get your, your $35,000 that you make for the year. Listen, you don't have to be a father. Do not create the kids that you don't want to raise. I had my child at 17 and I have made a very conscious decision to never ever in life be pregnant ever in life again. This is craziness. This is craziness. Uh, as private as I am, uh, all of this community, nosy as fuck, is, is, is black people, white people, mixed people, Hispanic people, it's all types of people here predominantly Caucasian, but just people are nosy by nature. People don't know how to mind the business that pays them. They won't help you though. Don't nobody support you though. Everybody got a two cents and in, 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 in a, in, in a thought about things. You ask for help, well, you know, I don't know, but what's going on over there? Let me go walk my dog. What's happening? Oh no, so what's going on? Let me put my ear up. Oh yeah, doggy, let's come on over here. Let's go see what's happening. Oh my gosh. And then I'm having work done in my house. They're going to tell my contractor, oh yeah, did you hear what's going on? Did you hear, did you hear what, what, yeah, so what was going on in there? Nosy as fuck. I don't fuck with most people just because people are, are fucking fraudulent as, as hell, fake as shit. Don't ask me how I'm doing if you're not here to help. Okay, no one here is, no one is here to help. <laughs> Nobody's here to so. help. But people want to extract. Everybody always want your energy. They want your time. They want your good graces. They want your efforts. They want your money. They want. They, people always want something. What are they here to give? Not a damn thing. They're not here to give anything, but they always want something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm, I'm, I'm so mad at the situation. I, I need to buy a new door. I got to call my my uh carpenter to reframe my door i gotta call renewal by anderson because not only do i need new windows i spend 20 grand on some windows because my hoa won't allow me to get the windows without the grill so now i gotta get the windows with the grill for them to approve it now i need i got busted in doors so now i gotta get a new door i need my door to be framed in and really this is it this really is it. I don't know what's going to happen with that child of mine. I'm going to be praying for him because that's all I know to do. But I can't be wrapped up in his stuff because he's going to fuck around and get my home confiscated to get my re my vehicles confiscated. And the whole thing of the matter is we moved from the projects. We moved from the bullshit so we wouldn't have to be in this. And and, and if I, we moved when he was eight years old. We, I, I moved because I, I called myself moving away from the ghetto mentality, the hood rat mentality, 
the bullfuckery. I said, go to school from eight years old when he was in elementary school to when he was in middle school to finally he was in high school. Go to school, do your homework, go to school. When I'm working bullshit jobs, I'm studying school on um online and get my bachelor's degree so uh, i'm trying to find my way in a whole new state with no support most people when they move they usually have a support system of some sort i had zero support when i moved here i had no job i had some savings that i was living off of um but i did everything on my own i i, I didn't live with anybody when i moved down here i didn't have any support i didn't have any I, I didn't have any anything i moved here by myself with the child and i was able to to figure some things out for myself as tired as i was working two jobs sometimes having to to figure out how i'm gonna get him to a, a daycare on time get him to a daycare up a four school uh program so they could take him to school me get to work on time me getting off of work in time to pick him up in time like it, it's a lot it, it's a lot and people say oh so why you don't put him i could put him there but who's gonna pick him up I, and it's a money thing like i i need i need to work how do i work and pick him up and uh, honey listen I thought once he turned 18, things would turn around. I told him, listen, college may not be for you, but like, do see about a vocational trade. He didn't want to do that. I said, okay, well, um, see about going into the Air Force because at least if you go into the Air Force, you'll be one out of my hair. Two, you'll, you know, get to be around like some, some discipline and some men and, you know, some positive reinforcements and you'll have some benefits and you'll make some money. He didn't want to do that. I, I told him not too long ago after, you know, he's already had a, a record. I said, well, listen, go ahead and um do go to track and school i'll pay for you to go to track and school they'll have that um I, I know people that are hire uh drivers uh you know that that have um backgrounds and felonies i'll pay for the school he yeah, don't want to do that like you, I, i'm i'm pissed off and i'm fed up because you want my help but you don't want to listen to my instruction <sighs> he's um he's locked up and he's really gonna have to stay there and he's gonna have some time i don't know how much time he's gonna get that he's gonna have to serve but i i can't i i really can't be wrapped up in this any longer any further because he really is jeopardized jeopardizing my lifestyle and my peace and i've come too far and i've been through too much to be dragged down even if it is my child um For people that may feel envious or may have jealousy, whether you want to admit it or not, or you 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 feel like you always want your own life, always want your own lifestyle, just on a grander level, you know, there's nothing like peace, whether it's, I mean... I tell you, because the last time I got him out of jail, I, I'm sitting here reflecting right now when I was the night before, like, had I left him in there then, my windows wouldn't be busted out now. Had I left him in there then, my door wouldn't be <laughs> busted in now. And, you know, I thought I was helping. I, I thought I was helping but did i really mm -mm. because had he sat in there then he wouldn't have all these charges now i don't know i don't know you know i i had a i had a great summer I had a great birthday you know i i, I took my first international trip uh last month 
I had a I had a great experience and I, I just feel like this 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 whole situation has been a wash. Like my house is torn apart. When I say everything, they literally left no no towel unpicked up, no drawer un went through like I don't like people touching my stuff. I don't like people in my space. Uh, my rug, they walk in their outside shoes on my $1,500 sheep set, sheepskin rug. I had beautiful, my stuff is thrown all over the place. The disrespect, I tell you. Is beyond me. The goal of it all, I swear. I feel like this is a nightmare. Is it the worst? No. But you you never know what people are going through. You never know what people are living through. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, still be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you hard-headed and don't listen, whatever. Peace. But he's, he has a lot of questions for you. Oh, okay. Mostly, the, the question is WTF. But, yeah, I I got it. I'll grab the 32. You got the bag. I'll probably grab it. It's sitting right there on the bed.